Welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Anjali and in today's video, we are going to see how to load the metadata in workforce module of EPVCS application by using data management. So this is my metadata file in which I have kept two accounts, manager 01 and manager 02. In parent, I have given as new employee job. This is alias. And this is account type. I have given it as saved assumption and data storage, which is never share for both the accounts. So I'm going to load this metadata file into my workforce module. So let's go to our application. So this is the home page. All right. From here, we click on navigator. We'll go to data management under integration. Click on setup tab and the first step is registering our source system. So register your source system here. Then next go to target application and register it. So my target application is, let me just show you. See, this is my target application. ACC001 underscore EPBCS. In account, since I am loading the metadata file in account dimension, I am going to select it as account. So, how can you add a new target application and register it? Just click on add. Since we are adding metadata, click on dimensions. Select the application name. Give any prefix and then click on OK. So, this is how you can add the target application and register it. So my application uh, target application is ACC underscore double zero one underscore EPBCS for account. All right. So in dimension details, as you can see, I have checked, selected the property for account, for account type, alias, data storage, parent and source plan type because it is needed. When we load the metadata, it will ask for which queue you want to load the metadata. So I have checked it as well. Okay, so these are the elements which are also in my metadata file. Okay, accounts, parent, alias, account type and data storage. So after registering your, registering your target application, we'll move towards import format under integration setup. So click on import format. And my import format is I've already created as ACC underscore WF001 underscore IMF. You can add a new import format by clicking on add and give here the name, source file, your file type. Since we are loading metadata, I have selected the file type as delimited all type because my file is uh, uh, delimited by this. Okay, so select your target application from here. Select your target from here and then click on OK. So mine is ACC this. Let's cancel this first. So that's, that's how you can add a new import format. So let's check for ACC. See, in this, I have provided all the details and I have done the mapping also. Since I had five elements in my data, uh, metadata file, I've mapped it. I have given the field number, account one, account type is in fourth column. So I have written four here as field number, alias is three, data storage is five, parent is two. And since source type uh, source type plan, I want to give it hard core mapping. So therefore I have given the field number as two and in expression, I have explicitly mentioned the cube name because this is the cube in which I am loading the metadata. All right, so save this information. And next is, moving towards location and creating a new location. So how do we create a new location? We click on add 
and we provide all the details here. We give the name, we provide the import format, which we created in our previous step. Okay, give your target and then save this information. So I've already created the location, ACC underscore WF underscore LOC. See, always provide the name, which you can easily identify. All right. So I have created this location. Now let's move towards workflow and we'll do the mapping. First, we need to check that the correct location is selected or not. So this is account underscore LOC. This is not my location. So I'm going to select the correct location by clicking on account underscore LOC. Click here and select the correct location. So my location is ACC underscore WF underscore LOC. Select this and click on OK. OK, the period and category is irrelevant in this, this case. But still, we can for category, we can give it as actual. Since we are loading metadata, so these details are irrelevant. Okay, so the correct location was ACC underscore WF001 underscore LOC. So in this data load mapping, I have given like mapping for all the dimensions for account. Let's see in all mappings, I have given like mapping and we need to provide the rule name here. When we map like uh, for source and target after mapping it, give the rule name for account, account type, all the dimensions which we have in our metadata file. So as you can see, I have mapped all the dimensions. And for source plan type, I have provided hardcore mapping just so that our application and can easily recognize the target. Okay. So after saving this information, let's go to data load rule. Click on data load rule and create a new data load rule from here. Click on add. And in details, provide the name, select the category, give the import format, and in source option, provide your file name from here. Click on select and you can choose your file. So from here, as soon as you select your file, we have to click on execute, click on execute, click on import and click on target. Okay, and then run. And we can see the process since this is green check, green mark and status, our file is successfully loaded. And you can see the file in data load workbench. So as you can see the three golden fish here for import, for validate and export. And this is the data source parent, source account is manager 01. And this is mapped to correct account alias, source type, and storage, and a source type plan also. So we can also check our information in dimensions. Let's go to the home page. From here, click on navigator, and then go to dimensions under create and manage. Select your cube. So I have loaded the metadata for OEP WFP. So I'm going to select my cube as OEP WFP and an account dimension. My parent was, let's check. Parent was new employee job. So let's go to employee job. It was under workforce custom accounts. Under mass hiring, new employee job. See, this is the data which, uh, sorry, the metadata, which we loaded here. So this is how we can load the metadata. All right. So that's all for today. Thank you and have a great day.